I hope you're all doing okay today. In this video I'm going to do a highly requested tutorial for you and that's going to be how to put in feather hair extensions. Now you can probably tell that I've got a few in now, some pale pink ones and some hot pink ones as well. I'm going to show you how you apply them, how you remove them and just sort of the general care of the extensions themselves. So if you're interested in how to get feathers in your hair like this then please keep on watching. So this is what they look like when you first take them out of the packaging. They're really, really soft and they do just feel like human hair extensions. Um, you can see they're unusual to the normal, sort of regular feather hair extensions in the fact that they're not actually feathers. They just kind of have this striped effect on them that look like feathers. Um, now I actually prefer this and I, when I was looking around for different sort of feather hair extensions to show you guys, I kind of wanted something a little bit different from the normal just um, bog standard feathers. Um, now they do look really nice as well but for me I have quite fine hair and for me to have like quite a stiff thick um, feather in my hair would just look a little bit too obvious and a little bit just I don't know it wouldn't sort of flow with the natural um, shape of my hair. Okay so they're so so easy to put in. At first I was panicking thinking that I wouldn't be able to put them in by myself and how am I going to show you guys how to do it on camera but it's literally so easy and it's so much easier than I actually thought it was going to be. So I'm going to start with some on this side. First thing I'm going to do is just take a rat tail comb and just section off my hair. Just take your extension and you just want to take the tiniest little strand of hair. So you can see the amount of hair that I'm grabbing here, it's just a really small little section of hair and it's a nice sort of round section as well, I don't know if you'll be able to see that but it's not sort of like a long thin section if that makes sense, it's just like a nice little round <laughs> section. <laughs> so then this is where the loop part comes in handy, now you just want to hold the loop through your fingers and put your hair through the loop. Now you want to take it, holding the end of your hair in one hand you want to pull this loop and pull it all the way through. Okay, so now this comes off and you've actually got the feather hair extension on that little bit of hair. So you want to push it right up to the root, hold it in place, and then you want to take your pliers and just squash it shut. and then that just secures it in place. So I just thought I'd show you once again when the camera's actually zoomed in. So just take a section of hair like this, put it through the clear loop of the feather hair extension, grab the clear bead and pull your hair through the feather extension. And you want to slide up to the root of your hair, grab your pliers and squash the bead securely shut. And then you can see the feather hair extension just peeping through there. So I absolutely love this look and I'm going to go ahead and put a few more in now. So hopefully you can see now I've got the two hot pink pieces in and I'm going to head further back now and put my final two hot pink pieces just sort of at the back. Okay so I really love the look of these hot pink ones but they're only sort of visible from the sides. So what I'm going to do is put some underneath so that they show through when my hair's all round to the front. So because they're a bit, little bit lower down, I might have to just um, trim some off the ends. Okay, so just measure how much you need to cut off. Now when trimming them, I suggest just not cutting them straight across. Just cut it at sort of an angle like this, just because it'll look a little bit more natural. There we go. And now that matches in with my hair. You just want to find where the little bead is squashed. Now when you squash the bead it will flatten like this. So all you want to do is squish it the other way so that it opens back up again with your pliers. And it's so, so simple. You can do it yourself as long as you're looking in the mirror. Just find where it's squashed. And squish it back the other way. And then you should just be able to slide it out nice and easily. 
try not to, although it is quite tempting, try not to squeeze the beads too tight. I know you'll probably want to at first because you want them to stay in as long as possible, but it probably is a little bit more damaging on your hair if you're sort of squeezing um, plastic on it. It won't make your hair fall out because after all it's just holding on to the shaft of the hair and it's not actually pulling on it because there's no sort of weight to the extensions but it will just make it a little bit easier when you want to remove them just to squish it back the other way if it's not quite so, so flattened down. You can actually style these extensions so you can curl them with your hair, you can straighten them and things like that um, but it does say not to use temperatures over 180 degrees celsius. One other little thing to mention is just with regards to backcombing, I wouldn't backcomb the extensions just because you probably ruin them and they are like sort of processed um, chemically treated um, bits of hair so they've had a lot of damage already so I'd just be really really gentle with them and um, if you want to curl them what I'd suggest doing personally is rather than using heat is just to wrap them around something round and just put a little bobby pin or clip over there like that and just leave them overnight and then when you take them out in the morning you'll find that you've got just a natural curl um, where it's sort of set in. So it's called PicassoHairFeathers.com and I'm going to leave a link to that in the description box because that's what I found, found mine and they've been absolutely great and I'm actually going to order another set of different colours because I love these pinks and browns but I think now that I've sort of got the grasp of how to use them and I love the look of them in my hair I'm going to sort of be a bit more adventurous and maybe order some sort of blues and purples um, and things like that. They have so so many different colours and you can also get packs with different amounts in them. So I actually have the... I think it doesn't actually say on here but I think it was um, a 14 piece um, set but I'm not too sure of that so don't um, quote me on that but I think um, you can get sort of packs with just a few pieces in you can get bigger packs if you have much thicker hair and you want them sort of all throughout um, your hair and you want them to be really visible and um, you can get bigger packs of extensions with more of them in. Now there are so so many colours when you look on the website and I'm going to link the place where I actually got my feather extensions from because I've looked all over and this is the only website I can really find where the extensions are hair rather than sort of actual feathers. So as for washing your hair, you can actually wash your hair with them in. I'd just be really, really careful when you're sort of touching around where the beads are clamped in. Just because if you're rubbing your hair, um, you might cause your hair to be pulled out if you're sort of quite rough around the area where the bead is clamped. Um, so just be really, really gentle and just sort of do it slowly and sort of feel where the extensions are. But obviously they're human hair so they can be washed as well. So I love wearing my feather hair extensions and it just sort of stops people in their tracks because they think that you've either dyed your hair that colour or it's just something that they've never seen before. So they're quite unusual and they do sort of get you a lot of compliments which is quite nice I suppose. Um, just because they're so different and you don't really see a lot of people with them in. So um, I think that's everything for this video. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in my next video everyone. Bye!